Hello and welcome back to episode number four of Rewriting Leclerc's Legacy. If you have not seen the previous episodes, make sure you go check them out before you watch this one. Because in this one, we're at Max Verstappen's home Grand Prix. And we're going to try and get a race win in front of his home crowd. There's quite a big gap to us in the Drivers' Championship. I think it's a 50, 55 point gap currently as we look for upgrades to try and make our car faster we need to get it faster than that red bull if we want to challenge for that championship but yeah you have a look it's a 55 point gap to verstappen it's like an 80 point gap in the constructors and we only have eight races to go um plus a sprint race we do have a sprint race in brazil so we can get some bonus points there as well but a 55 point gap is a big big gap i think that's almost i think that's pretty much we have to win the race of verstappen second every single time i think would just about get us across the line but we need to win races uh, so i think out of the last eight we probably need to win like six of them if we want to win this championship and then hope for staff and drop some points obviously winning all eight would be great but i'm not sure i'll be able to win all eight but we'll see what we can do but we need a big big race weekend starting here in netherlands as uh, q1 was pretty pretty straightforward and same with q2 we're Pretty much right on the same pace as our teammate. It was an 11.6 in Q2. The Mercedes look fast. The McLarens look fast. And I'll tell you what. The Red Bulls do not. They're a little slow around here. Uh, at least compared to the Red Bulls, Mercedes and us. They're, they're probably the fourth fastest team around this track. As it looks right now. Which is very, very good news to us. That's music to our ears, I guess you could say. As um, we're in Q3. Norris has a 12.7, which is extremely slow. I don't know what he's done there he must have had a mistake but we're pushing and we're going to try and put in the lap of our dreams to put it on pole position for the first time this season we haven't put it on pole position i don't think we've put it on the front row yet this season we've had poor qualifying performances and that's what's really cost us when it comes to the race uh we saw it last week in belgium i think we qualified p9 and that p9 meant we took grid penalties which I didn't want to just yet. I wanted to do it next week in Monza. But we did it in Belgium instead because of the poor qualifying. But, you know, we, we qualified P8, P9, P10. It gives us a lot to do in the races. Yes, it makes the content a little better. Yes, we get a lot more overtakes. But in this championship, I want to make sure we get wins. I want to make sure it's a close battle. If we don't qualify well and we don't win races, the championship's going to be decided with five races to go. And uh, there'll be no point of this series. But... As we cross the line here, it's an 11-0. You saw Hamilton do an 11-1 in Q2. We've done an 11-0 in Q3. Russell and Hamilton do an 11-2 and 11-3. And um, as you can see, everybody coming across the line. The Mercedes comes across the line at the end. And uh, Norris gets up to P2. But everybody has finished their laps. So now we're just basically fighting ourselves. See if we can go a bit quicker. And we were a tenth and a half up. And we made a mistake there. It's a good thing no one else improved. Otherwise, I would have been absolutely fuming. But we've already guaranteed ourselves pole position at Max Verstappen's home track. And Verstappen's not even in the top five. I don't know where he is right now. You've got Ricardo P5, the two Mercedes, splitting the two McLarens. As we come around the last corner, we try and push it a bit too much. Have a little spin on the curbs. We know our limit around that track now. And Perez actually out-qualifies Verstappen. As Verstappen is going to be starting P7. But our teammate is starting P9. He's done a 12.1. In Q2, he did a 11.6. How is he more, pretty much more than half a second slower than his Q, Q2 type? I don't get it. But Sainz has had a stinker. We're starting on pole, so we don't care too much. Norris P2, Hamilton P3, Ricardo P4, Perez P5, and Verstappen now P6. So I think someone's taken a penalty. I think it was George Russell who has taken a penalty. Where is he starting? He started down in P13. Not ideal. We want as many cars to take away as many points as possible from Verstappen. But I guess that gives us one less threat from behind. And we saw how slow the Red Bulls were in qualifying. If they keep that pace up here in, in the race, that could be very, very good news for us. We are starting on the mediums to the hards. Um, that's my preferred strategy around here, I guess. I just want to hold on to that pole position going into turn one and then work from there. Hamilton and Russell both on the hard. So the medium's going for the... Or, 
the Mercedes going for that alternate strategy. But yeah, the mediums, we just we just wanted to get away off the line well and hold on to that P1 as it's five red lights and away we go. And Norris actually gets a good start down the inside. And you can see he's pulling alongside. He's actually ahead of us at turn one. But we're going to go swoop him around the outside using the bank to help us out. We go very wide, but it seems to work as up in a P1 we go. Lando Norris holds on a P2 as Hamilton and Perez are fighting behind for that P3 position. Perez gets on through on Lewis Hamilton. Ricardo P5. Verstappen stays P6. Our teammate up in a P7. He's had a decent start. George Russell in P14. Needs to try and work his way through the field. But Verstappen not getting past Daniel Ricciardo is pretty big for us indeed. That is very, very helpful. If he gets past Ricciardo and maybe Hamilton off the start, he would become a problem in this race. But now we've got a bit of a blockage to him as we get a bit, bit shaky coming out of that exit. You can't ride the curves or that inside curb right there otherwise it will unstable you and now Verstappen uh, Lando Norris is going to have a go at us doesn't have DRS because we're only on lap two uh, so we're able to hang on if he had DRS there he probably would have breezed past us and we'll be down a P2 but we hang on to that P1 for a moment and Lando Norris as he dives down the inside makes a bit of contact but Lando Norris has some serious pace here in Netherlands I mean we're pushing we are pushing to try and get out of that DRS. You can see Perez is holding on as well. Hamilton in P4, absolutely loving it. He's going to be quick towards the end when he switches onto the mediums. But I don't know where this McLaren pace has come from. I really don't. Ricardo is pretty quick as well. I mean, he's ahead of Verstappen, so that's pretty quick. But Norris, he's got the pace to win, win the race. He, he is fast. And you can see on lap four, we're down to 25% ERS. So we've been pushing. And Norris is comfortably within half a second of us. Just chilling. We, we got out of Perez's DRS, but Lando Norris, he, he wants some. You know, he's ready to race. He's ready for a race win. So we could be battling. We could be having a great battle with the McLaren in this race. Not Verstappen, but Lando Norris, which um, could get spicy looking at his pace. We're going to have to use a lot of ERS, and we're going to have to use it at the right moments. We're going to have to save some, use it down that straight, not let him get through. Because I think if he gets through, he might breeze away from us with the pace that he is showing at the start of this Grand Prix. As you can see, Lando Norris right here as he spins. Lando Norris has spun on lap four. He's done a full 360. That was pretty flamboyant. That was, that was pretty good. I like that from Lando Norris. But he's dropped down 2P5. That kind of helps us out, actually. And he stays ahead of Max Verstappen, which is very important. But he's going side by side with his teammate. Verstappen might find a way through on one of them if they keep this up. The McLarens side by side as Norris down the inside of Ricardo. Ricardo around the outside. Ricardo is through on Lando Norris. Look at that from Danny Rick. He's up in a P4. Maybe he can make a late charge for a podium. Or can he? Norris has the DRS. Lando Norris down the inside. He's says see you later Daniel he's going back through into P4 Ricardo tries to stick it around the outside Lando Norris almost losing the back end they're still going side by side Sainz is making a move down the inside of Verstappen Carlos Sainz might be able to get through on Verstappen Norris is through and Ricardo Carlos Sainz he's up on Verstappen or is he they're still going side by side the Dutchman does not want to give this up he does not want to lose out to my Ferrari teammate who's going to do his utmost to make sure Verstappen does not pass him. Carlos Sites, look at this. He's sticking it out. I'm losing my voice. But Carlos Sites, oh, he's still not through. They're all, they're all losing time by doing this side by side battling. I don't know what I'm missing out. I'm just cruising up the, up the front. But Carlos Sites, he's through on Verstappen. Sites is up in a P6. Verstappen's down into P7. Or is he? Verstappen looking for a move down the inside. Not quite going to work. And I tell you what, the Alpine of. Esteban Ocon is uh, looking at the back of this battle and he might fancy a move on Verstappen as well. But Sainz up into P6 ahead of Verstappen. That is huge for our championship. Thank you, Carlos Sainz. He's doing something for the team. If he's not scoring points, at least he is holding up Max Verstappen. And uh, that 55-point gap in the Drivers' Championship right now, it'll be, what, a 21-point overhaul? If he's currently, P is he P8 or P7? If he's P7, it'll be a 19-point overhaul, which will be he it'll be hefty points that we need. And um, that'll give us huge confidence for the races to come. As we're just cruising in front. You know, Perez is not as much of a as not much of a threat as Lando Norris was. Lando Norris, he a pace. The Red Bull of Perez does not. I think the Red Bull's pretty slow, because Verstappen down in P7. Perez losing time to us. Well, 
Well, we're kind of just chilling. If we wanted to pull away a little more, we could. But we were saving ERS. We're just doing our thing, managing the gap, opening it up about a 10 for 2 every lap. And just doing our thing. I think the main worry is Hamilton on the hard tires. Because he's going to switch to the saw. Uh, he's going to switch to the mediums at the end. And he's going to be rapid compared to us when we're onto the hards. Russell up in a P10 as well. Could he potentially take points away from Verstappen if he's looking quick on those hards? Maybe. It's a bit of a stretch, but he potentially could. As he's joined, Look at him. He's joining up to that train. I think he's only about two or three seconds behind the train that involves Ricardo, Sainz, and Verstappen. So maybe Russell can still get some points and take some away from Verstappen. And yeah, you can see this train right here. We are scheduled to pit this lap, but my main worry is, do I want to come out in this train? You know, it's, if some of these guys don't pit, then uh, I could come out in this train that could really, really slow me down. So I'm going to try and stay out, perform the overcut, basically pit the lap after Sergio Perez because a five-second gap to Perez is plenty. We might lose a second from pitting a lap later. But honestly, that's fine. You know, we've got a 5.2-second gap. We've got that gap for us so we can kind of relax and we can basically have that luxury of pitting a lap later than him. So we stay out another lap. Verstappen actually comes in this time. So that's most of the train coming in. So now we can probably pit whenever we want. But Verstappen making that pit stop along with Ricardo. Our teammate stays out. He's going to go for the overcut. Um, you've got Hamilton obviously staying out on the hards. Russell staying out on the hards. Lando Norris still out as well. So they're all going to pit next lap. It's going to be intriguing to see where they come out. They should probably come out ahead of these guys because these guys are going to be on cold tires but then when they battle afterwards it'll be uh interesting to see who comes out on top and i think it might the overcut might be the way to go because it is difficult to overtake around here in netherlands especially for the first half of the lap and um you have a look science now into the pits i think norris was into the pits as well same with perez so ricardo coming down the straight and Look at that, Carlos Sainz, he's miles ahead. He is miles ahead of Ricardo. He's miles ahead of Max Verstappen. Carlos Sainz, look at you go, son. He's up in a P6. He's trying to score some constructive points today to help us close that gap down to Red Bull. Max Verstappen, he's down into P8. Yes, George Russell has to pit. But other than that, He's, he's a net P7 right now, Max Verstappen. And Russell, he's on the hards. He's going to switch to the mediums as he's in the pits now. Oh, no, he stayed out one extra lap. But he's going to go into the mediums. He's going to have the pace to potentially overtake Max Verstappen. So Verstappen could be finishing P8 this Grand Prix as Russell... As we come out just behind George Russell, that's not a problem because I think George Russell is pitting next lap and we're on cold tyres anyway. So we're, I think there's a five second gap to Perez, four second gap, but Russell into the pits now. So this is what we want to see. We want to see where does Russell come out relative to Max Verstappen, Ricardo, Carlos Sainz and Lando, well Lando Norris I think stayed out, didn't he? Looking at those down. Oh, Lando Norris is into the pits now. But yeah, we're in P1. We're still we're still with that 4.6, 4.7 gap to Perez. So we're absolutely chilling out in front. We're cruising. It's just as Hamilton gets past Perez, then we should be worried. As Russell coming out the pits, he comes up behind our teammate, which is absolutely perfect. But where is he going to going to come out relative to Daniel Ricciardo. Can Ricciardo get past Russell before he warms up his tyres? Ricciardo around the outside using the bank. Daniel Ricciardo is through, but Max Verstappen is stuck behind the Mercedes of George Russell. Verstappen down into P8. It is tragic for the Red Bull driver in his home Grand Prix. He is only going to score a handful of points here in Netherlands, which is not what he needed for his championship challenge as uh, Russell is ahead of Verstappen on those mediums. He's probably going to breeze past Ricardo, and I think maybe Verstappen could maybe get P7 over Ricardo. but I think that's the best he can get right now. So Verstappen, not looking good at all for him, but it's looking great. For us out in front, we've got that 4.3 second gap to Perez. We're just trying to manage it. But we are struggling a bit on the tyres because they're not warming up as much as we would like. Um, the way we set up our car was more for the medium tyres, not for the hards. We needed a bit more tyre pressure because I was scared of them overheating. So I put a, a lot less than, than needed to. And uh, that's why we're struggling a bit. As there's a yellow flag, I think, for Lando Norris. Does Lando Norris have a mechanical failure here in Netherlands? Yes, he does. Lando Norris is out of the Grand Prix, which is very good for Max Verstappen. That helps him score a couple more points. So uh, not ideal for us. And he probably had an outside shot at a podium, which, I mean, sucks for Lando Norris. We saw the problem he had in Hungary, which he, he was looking like a P1, the pace that he had in Hungary. 
and he had a problem with his car for like the next 10 laps he was like two seconds a lap slower than everybody and he finished like p8 or something and now here he probably had the pace to win this grand prix as well but he spun out screwed that over still had pace to potentially get a podium and he's had a mechanical problem so lando norris cannot catch a break in that mclaren maybe he needs to move teams maybe he needs to get into that red bull with verstappen or maybe he needs to get into this ferrari with me but anyway lando norris looked very quick around here and it's uh gotten that he's been uh, he's had a dnf actually because he, he was taking points away from verstappen but hamilton pushing perez he's gonna try and make this move now around the outside lewis hamilton on perez does finally get the move done it took him about six seven laps to get the move done and probably about six seven laps too late but he has finally got the move done on sergio perez which will allow him to push after me and i think all that time that he was battling with perez uh, was very good for me as you can see they make a bit of contact which unstables perez's car but hamilton is through nonetheless and uh, he's got 4.5 seconds to gain i think if he makes that five laps ago he's probably already almost on the back of us because of those problems that we were having with our tires trying to warm them up and you can see he is close to that gap he's gained like a second and a half in three laps which i don't think is going to be enough because we are trying to save our ers for that final lap for that final push lap but he is slowly closing so that means no mistakes it's going to put a bit of pressure on us as we go into the final five laps of the grand prix as fernando alonso is closing on Max Verstappen. Is he going to go for a move? Alonso down the inside of Verstappen. Verstappen gives him room. Surely not. The two-time world champion looking for a move on the current one-time world champion. Uh, uh, Max Verstappen as he goes for a move around the outside of the bank. It feels weird calling Max a uh, uh, one-time world champion. He is a two-time in real life. But in this game, he's still a one-time world champion as through Fernando Alonso goes up into P7. That's a huge overtake when it comes to the championship standards. That's two more points that Verstappen loses and that is crucial for us as on to the final lap we go we've got that 1.1 second gap to Hamilton so we've managed it well we've stayed ahead stayed out of his DRS and now we're going to push with all the ERS we saved up in this final lap to try and take an extra point home with us to make it 26 points here in Netherlands over Max Verstappen's I think potential four points I think he's P8 right now he is P8 behind Alonso so he's only scoring four points unless he can make that move on fernando alonso he doesn't make it down at turn one and that's pretty much the only place you can make it around this track maybe at the other drs zone but it's very very difficult to make a move down there the main place is down into turn one because you have that long straight to get the slipstream and use that drs that you have but we're still pushing on this final lap obviously not taking risks we're being careful with it, but we do want to try and get that extra point because every point matters in this championship battle with Verstappen as around the final quarter we go. It's been a solid, solid lap this has. A little careful on the exit there. I think we touched the curb on the inside, which uh, unstabled our car just a little bit. But coming up to her line is a fantastic last lap from Charles Leclerc, and I think that was fastest lap. Verstappen is going to stay in P8. And it is a huge, huge weekend for Ferrari. A huge weekend for this man, Charles Leclerc, as he takes pole position and takes the race win and takes the fastest lap. So it's a fantastic weekend for Charles Leclerc. Perez on the podium as well in P3. Hamilton taking P2. We need those guys to keep taking points away from Verstappen if we want to win this championship. But look at us celebrating on the podium. We're absolutely loving it. And uh, you can see Arava back there as well on the Ferrari pit crew. He's loving it as well. He's loving the victory for Charles Leclerc. Same with Hamilton. Max Verstappen, though, P8. That is crucial for this championship. Carlos Sainz actually gets P5, which is a good result from him, um, scoring 10 points for Ferrari. And that's going to help us in the Constructors and maybe give us that outside shot at winning that Constructors Championship as well as the Drivers' Championship. You can see the gap is now 33 points. 33 points is a lot more doable and it looks a lot more possible right now with seven races to go 33 points we could close that gap easy we could get that gap on max verstappen and we could have a firework ending here in 2022 you can see that constructors as well is a 71 point gap and we can close that gap down as well we just need carlos science to start 
producing. If you are enjoying this series and you're excited for episode number five, I'm not sure where we're at, but um, you'll find out next episode. If you're excited, make sure you go ahead, hit a like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.